What's up, Coach? It's Bryce from Synergy. Today, we're going to talk about Synergy Editor Max and using our roster pre-made template. So we've added the ability to publish your practices uh, to the team site that you tag, as well as creating box scores from that data as well. Uh, but one thing we want to make sure you do a great job is just staying organized specifically with your player tags. So let's talk about that. We'll go into our editor and we're going to go to templates. And I've got this Synergy preset roster. This will automatically be in here for you. We'll go ahead and double click that. And you can see it's actually going to pull up my roster. Uh, it's just empty. I want to go in here and add all my players and my team name. You can see right here it says that you want to add your players here so you can quickly copy paste this into any other edit. That will help you to really keep everything organized. Make sure your player tags stay consistent by using this particular template. All right, just updating it as you go. Um, and then again, you can use the nickname uh, button, basically this little checkbox to change the way that the button views uh, the name without actually getting rid of the player tag or changing the player tag. So uh, what I'll do is I'll hit duplicate to make a copy of this, make it my own, my team. And I'll click OK. And then you can see it saying I'm working on it on my own. I can delete these little reminders here. And then what I can do is I can go ahead and choose each player and then I'll open up this little panel over here. You can see under tags where it says player, that means it's a player tag. Right here is the name of the player. We're just going to start typing in all of our players. Okay, so we've got all of our players added, um, but I don't want to actually have these players. Oh, I misspelled John Stockton. Better fix that real quick. Just click his name, pop over here. Boom, there you go. That's important. You wanna make sure that all of these player tags stay consistent in all of your tagging because when you publish it to the team site on the practice tab where you print out these box scores, you don't wanna have one row that says John Stockton and then a row right below that that says John Stock. You wanna make sure that they're consistent, okay? So then you'll have to go back and re-tag things and you don't wanna do that, trust me. So use this as sort of your central hub to keep all of your roster tags as consistent as possible. But say John Stockton, maybe we don't want that to actually um, view as John Stockton, we wanna give it a nickname. So the player tag will remain John Stockton, but when I click this little nickname button over here, I can change it to whatever I want. So I can just play like JS. That way it's only showing JS on the button. I can maybe make the button smaller or maybe just how I think of that player when I'm tagging them is by their abbreviation or their first name, or maybe it's an actual nickname that you wanna put on there. So that's just another way to take advantage of this. So the real great part about this is you can then copy paste all this just with a click and drag right here, hit control C, and then just by hitting control V, you can see I'm able to copy that and paste it. And I can paste it into any other template I want. I can uh, choose specific players. I can just like hit Dirk, control C, then down here, control V, boom, I can move Dirk. And again, I can do this by, I can actually open up another template or start one from scratch and paste my players into it. So a great way to make sure that you're not having to type in your player tags every single time you work on an edit, you just copy paste them from this particular edit to another and you kind of treat this as your evergreen standard for your roster. So I hope that helps. If you have questions, let us know, contact your rep, hit us up at the support line or drop a, a comment below in the video. We appreciate your time and good luck this season, coach. Take care.